Okay guys, so I look a bit of a mess, but it's li <laughs> literally just woke up. It's probably like half ten. Chance has not long woke up either. But it's snowing outside! And we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go play out in the snow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look what I got! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got a massive smile on my face because I have got a tripod. I've got a tripod! Yo, you guys know how vexed it got me every time the phone would fall, every time the phone would just like be at a really dodgy... You guys know how much I complained about like not having a tripod and my boyfriend must have heard me complain quite a lot because he ended up getting me a tripod for Christmas. Um, so I'm very, very happy and yeah. Okay, so I not long put the baby down for a nap and I feel like I've only got a limited amount of time to get this video done. Um, it is the middle of the afternoon. It is just gone 20 past two. I literally just wanted to do a rundown of 2020. I feel like this video might be a bit scatterbrained. I have tried to write down everything in my little uh, planner, my little notebook. Um, I did this yesterday. I wrote down everything from like month to month of what I wanted to talk about, but I don't want it to be like a really long winded video. Um, I just feel like I wanted to fill you guys in on a bit of like information about just certain stuff that's happened over the year that I probably haven't really like told you guys about, so. Yeah, it's and it's the last day of the year. It's the last day of the year. It's the 31st of December, guys. And I just, I need to get this video done and I'm going to get it uploaded today because it's just, it's the last day of the year. It's um the last day of 2020 and everybody knows that 2020 has been a weird ass year. It's, it's been disastrous. It's been heartbreaking it's been a lot it has been a whole whole lot it's been a whole mood 2020 has been a whole mood <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna ramble i'm not gonna get sidetracked i just want to tell you guys bit by bit of what happened in every month of last year okay so 2020 january i turned 26 january i decided that i was going to take my youtube seriously and i made my new year's resolution video i feel like that was the mark of me getting back on youtube even though I was nine months pregnant, I just got on maternity leave. I was in that nesting stage and I was basically trying to prepare myself for labor. So a lot of emotions were going on, a lot of uncertainty. Like I literally just wanted to figure out what I wanted to do for like my side hustle, my side hobby. Um, I wanted to get our eBay up and running again, but there was a lot, there was a lot, there was a lot going on. Um, my mother-in-law was really sick at the time. I mean. Um, she'd had cancer for the last three or four years, but I feel like the start of 2020, she got even sicker and over the, the next so many months, she just started going more and more downhill. So, I mean, having to deal with like my boyfriend's mom being that sick and knowing that like there's a certainty that she's not going to live for very long, that was very heavy on our minds. So yeah, January was a bit of a weird month. Uh, I knew where I wanted to go with like my direction in life but I just felt like I was lacking the motivation and the purpose to do it because of the situation that I was in and being pregnant who wants to do things when they're like nine months pregnant about to give birth I did but I didn't feel like I had the energy to do it um okay so that was January February, my ba my second son was born Chance was born um the 7th of February so yeah, it was just lockdown didn't didn't happen yet. So, you know, family could still see him. And yeah, I feel like just being a new mom again for the first couple of weeks was something to get used to. Breastfeed and everything, just getting back into that whole like mommy mode. Well, newborn baby mommy mode. But, you know, I loved it. I loved being pregnant again. I loved having, I'm so glad everything worked out really well. Um, there was no complications. I just had to have like a bunch of iron tablets. When I came home, they gave me like a bunch of iron tablets because I kind of lost a little bit of blood. Not a little bit. I lost like two pints of blood. <laughs> That's not a little bit. But um, apart from that, everything went swimmingly and he was healthy. He had all his fingers and his toes. And February was just a wonderful month to welcome a new baby in. Um, and then March happened and then we had the whole lockdown and then my son was off school for like what 
four or five months. So I just felt bad for him in a way because, you know, he didn't see his friends and, you know, stimulating him and trying to make sure like I made time for him as well was a, was a struggle. I felt like I relied on a lot of his like his Xbox and his like technology to keep him entertained. And I kind of regret that because it's kind of changed his behavior a bit. But I'm I'm on it now. I'm, I'm locking it down now because I'm not going to let like technology like, you know, ruin my kids. <laughs> um, but I feel like in that time period, I feel like I just was like, just chill out, go and watch your tablet. You know, like I've got the baby to sort out or... It was like, we're going over to see grandma today, to see how she's doing. Um, you know, just make sure you don't make no noise, chill out because she's ill. Like, I feel like, I just, I feel like, I feel bad because I feel like the lockdown was heavy on him, but I feel like we kind of shoved stuff in his face to try and to distract him. Like we got him like a new skateboard. He got a new Xbox One. <laughs> Who gives their six year old an Xbox? No, I don't know what the hell he was thinking, but I think March was just like a heavy month for us again because yeah, I just feel like the lockdown was, I think everyone was in that panic mode. Everyone, like we had no tissue. We had to, we was using kitchen roll to wipe our ass. Um, but like I had to buy stuff in bulk because everyone was just going nuts at the shops. And yeah, March was heavy. April was heavy. And even, I think from like March to June was just a very difficult month. We tried to get out as much as we possibly could. I mean, when we went to go visit my boyfriend's mom, she had a skate park near her house. So we go and visit her for a couple of hours. Then we go over to the skate park and get like my oldest son out. Um, I'd take the baby in the push chair and we'd go and like do some skateboarding. Um, I'm not that much of a skateboarder. I was just like cruising around on my board and stuff. Like I can't do any mad tricks, but like my boyfriend can. And he was teaching Paris to kind of get into skateboarding because it's something that we could do together as a family, which was great because then all the other kids that were there at the skate park kind of made friends with him. So we go there regularly because we were going to see his mom regularly. I mean, my boyfriend was like, if we're gonna go, like if my mom's basically dying, I want to see her every day. And you know, we had a car then and that's basically what we did during lockdown. We visited his mom every day from like February to like June. Um, but like I said, we got to do stuff in between. I mean, we went down to like the beach one of the months, I think when the lockdown kind of eased up. Um, we did a lot of skateboarding and we did a lot of cooking and stuff. I think everything that I could do when I had some time just to make sure that like my older son wasn't feeling left out, but that in that itself was a challenge because I'm I'm thinking to myself where's the time for you you know you've just had a new baby yeah like people are helping out as much as they can but it was stressful and I feel like I did get a little bit depressed I think just with everything going on as well and then unfortunately um my my mother-in-law my partner's mom my boyfriend's mom <laughs> I don't know how to say it um she died on June the 25th she died at home and I think the day before she passed, I remember I was feeling really tired and I just wanted to nap. And then my boyfriend was like, come on, Chloe, just get up. Let's go visit my mom today. I mean, I know you're tired and, you know, everything with the baby, but we need to go and see her. And I'm so, so, so glad that, like, he got me up that day because if I just said, no, I'll see her tomorrow, I wouldn't have had that chance to see her tomorrow because she passed away. I saw her on the Wednesday. We spent the whole day with her. But at this stage, she was literally, she, she just wasn't there. She wasn't, she wasn't, I feel like she went into that dementia stage where she forgot, you know, she got, she wasn't eating, she weren't drinking. She kind of forgot who we were. And I feel like she just, I'm just, I'm so glad that I got to see her that, I'm so glad my, I'm glad Alex convinced me to go and visit her on that Wednesday because I wouldn't have saw her the next day because she died early hours of the morning. And <sighs> it's still difficult to talk about it now. Like it's just been so crazy that she hasn't been around because she was such a solid part of the family. Like she brought everybody together and she basically helped me raise like my first son. She was always there to babysit to give me money when I didn't have any money to you know give me that support and it's just a shame it's just such a shame that she um that she's not here with us anymore uh, and um so that's uh, the thing is that she wasn't the only one to pass away in my uh, uh she wasn't the only one to pass away um 
that in my boyfriend's family i mean his cousin passed away from covid i mean his nan passed away on his dad's side when in september his granddad passed away so four people in his family died in like a six month period and here we are with like a, a, a six month old baby you know uh, things were just really hard we did struggle quite a lot and I was you know what I forgot to mention guys that I, I started doing like a, a hair YouTube channel I don't know where I just I just decided that I wanted to do like a YouTube channel about my hair like I've got like naturally curly hair but like I haven't been looking after it and I feel like oh I'll, I'll do a YouTube channel about my hair and stuff and it just flopped because it flopped because of everything that was going on with the family and I was just gutted that I couldn't keep it going I didn't have the I don't know I didn't have the money to keep it going like when I look at other youtubers videos and all these curly girls who are like talking about all these expensive hair products and how they do their curly hair routine I'm just like oh my gosh I do not have time I tried to make I tried to make out like I had time but I really didn't have time so all my videos were quite shit <laughs> so yeah I think I kind of stopped I didn't do any videos I think I stopped in July and I didn't do any more videos on that channel and then summertime july august um i feel like we were just trying to i don't know trying to grieve in a way that i don't know i feel like july and august we were kind of grieving we were it was it was, it was very there was a lot of turmoil going on i was arguing back and forth with my partner about stupid things but i could see that he was really hurt because he just lost his mom he's their youngest son as well so I mean, the only reason why we moved out of the city to where we are now was because of his mom. So I feel like it's just, it was just a really bad time and we weren't getting on and I was struggling with like myself and like my body image and then like, I feel like I had depression and then I just felt like I wasn't doing enough and I felt like I should have gone back to work and I just had all these sort of emotions that I just needed to, to snap out of. And I did snap out of it. I watched a ton of like motivational videos. People that are in like a similar situation that I was in. I watched, I, I subscribed to a lot of people that I thought I could get encouragement off. And slowly but surely in September, I figured out what I wanted to do. And I started this channel and I wanted to do fitness channel because I've always wanted to do fitness. I've always wanted to get fit. I feel like I haven't been healthy since like my first son was born I just feel like I haven't got that body back but I'm happy that like I managed to find out what I wanted to do and I feel like I've made peace with this whole year and how things have gone down and I'm just excited for next year because I feel like now that like I've managed to do this for a good three four months now and I feel like I've been on it and um, I mean I've dwindled a little bit but I feel like the my conscience is always pricking me to say that you've got to keep on it. You've got to keep on it. If you want to see results, you've just got to believe in yourself and you've got to push yourself as much as you possibly can. Um, <laughs> I didn't really stick to this whole list thing, but you guys have heard me talk a lot. Um, I just feel like I have so much more potential now and I'm just ready for next year. Um, I feel like I could probably do at least two videos a week now. Like I feel like I'm prepared. Um, I'm gonna get my shift sorted out at work. I've got a tripod now. Hopefully when I get paid next, I can actually get myself a proper vlogging camera. Um, I just feel like things are slowly going in going in motion now, if that makes sense. Um, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited for like, I'm happy with like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I'm just happy that, you know, I've made some friends on YouTube. There's people out there that are like happy to encourage me like every time I post a video. So shout out to all you lot because it's just nice to have that sort of supportive community, if that makes sense. Um, no, I don't think I did. I think I kind of got everything that I wanted to say. I mean, I did say I was going to do like month to month, but I don't know. I feel like I just, I always get sidetracked every time I start filming. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to say like, I am, I'm, I'm legit, like, <laughs> I'm legit, like, on it. I'm really, really on it. I'm just happy to, I don't know, I just want to watch myself grow. I want to look back and 
you know, I've been doing this now for like, what, three or four months. I feel like I've said that already, but I'm just happy with the progress that I've made so far. Even though I'm only a beginner, guys, it, even if you are starting out and just doing YouTube, just stick at it. Keep uploading no matter how bad the quality of your videos are because you're only going to get better and better as time goes on. And I feel like I'm not going to be so harsh on myself or so strict. I just feel like I'm just going to just let my creativeness flow and I'm not going to worry so much about just all the other stuff that's in my head <laughs> but um yeah guys 2020 has been has been something else it has been it's been good and it's been bad um apart from all the death that's happened in the family I just feel like I feel like this was the year to try and to, to get my ass in gear and to just get going and to just believe in myself um so yeah I just feel like I just yeah that was just like a quick recap guys um of just what what's been going on i guess um thank you for watching i hope you guys have a really good new year's um all the best for the new year i hope you guys have achieved everything you wanted to achieve this year and um, there's gonna be some mad fireworks tonight i can't wait <laughs> um but yeah i just want to say um but yeah happy new year guys and I will see you in the next video, which will be hopefully tomorrow because I really want to do a video for January 1st as well. A new workout video for January 1st. <laughs> Gosh, this woman has just had eye contact with me as she's gone around the house. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.